Hi, my name is Matt Bowler, and in this video, I'll be discussing configuring, implementing, and verifying IPsec GRE tunnels. I'm going to be using the same basic topology that I've been using with the VPN labs, if you've had a chance to view those, both on the command line interface configuration and through the Cisco SDM. We've got three routers here, a uh, home router, the interwebs router, which is simulating something like the internet, or uh, a router that this, tra this traffic is going to be transparent as it travels across that, and then our office router, which is simulating uh, site B or a remote site. The interfaces and descriptions here in red are what will be the interesting traffic across the IPsec GRE tunnel. So we have the 172.16.1.0/24 network on the home side, and on the office side we have a loopback interface with the 192.168.1.0 IP address assigned. So any traffic sourcing from this network over to the loopback and vice versa should be considered interesting traffic and all other traffic should just be uh, uninteresting traffic and not encapsulated and encrypted. Uh, GRE tunnels very similar to a VPN tunnel you can use uh, its generic route encapsulation you can use this commonly seen for uh, IP6 over IP version 4 tunnels uh, it's got a lot of uses and uh, I just wanted to cover this and show you exactly how it works. A little bit different of a configuration in this lab compared to the VPN. We are running EIGRP on these two networks, the 10.1.1.0 slash 30 network as well as the 10.2.2.0 network. But we will not be running EIGRP on these outside networks, the 172.16.1.0 and the 192.168.1.10. Uh, we'll be achieving those route paths with default routes. As you can see here, these are the two default routes that we'll use on their respective routers. Um, so that basically the uh, interwebs router here is not going to see or be able to uh, reach end-to-end -end connectivity from itself to my laptop or the fast ethernet 1 slash 0 network or the loopback adapter. In the VPN labs that we show there was reachability since all of the uh, the routers here were running EIGRP for all of the networks shown here. So just a little bit different set up here to show you the IPsec GRE tunnel and how we can achieve the uh, tunnel here with complete uh, transparency across an internet or an unsecure network. We'll begin configuration here on the home router and we'll start by issuing some of the interface configurations. Fast Ethernet 1.0 will give it the IP address of 172.16.1.1 the 24 bit subnet mask we'll do a no shut to bring that up and we'll go ahead and configure the fast ethernet 00, zero with its IP address listed on the diagram and issue a no shut to bring that interface up. I'm going to issue an enable secret password, just uh, kind of a habit here on the router. Also another habit that I've developed is issuing a IP domain name and we'll just call it Bowler CBT Labs. I also want to turn off the IP domain name lookup just uh, some basic housekeeping. If I issue a, a bad command, sometimes it's going to try and resolve that name. So if I issue this command, I can enter anything and it's not going to try and resolve that name against a DNS server that uh, it doesn't exist in this lab. So I'm going to configure EIGRP for uh, 
only to advertise this network, the 10.1.1.0 network. So I will do router EIGRP uh, autonomous system 10 and network 10.1.1.0 with the respective wildcard mask there. And we'll do a no auto summary. I already have EIGRP configured on the interwebs router, so we'll see these adjacencies come up almost immediately. I want to create the tunnel interface now by entering an interface and we're looking for tunnel and we'll just give this an interface number of zero. Uh, we'll use the IP address of 100.100.100.1 this will be the IP address for the home router tunnel interface and the office router interface will use the IP address of dot two on that same subnet. So we'll go ahead and issue that command. For the tunnel source address here, I'm going to use the, uh, the fast ethernet zero zero interface very similar to how we would specify peers in VPN setups. So the tunnel source will be the 10.1.1.1 address and my destination will be the 10.2.2.1 address over here on the office router. So the destination be set to 10.2.2.1 just to show basic uh, connectivity here I'm gonna set up the tunnel mode for a uh, tunnel mode of GRE we won't implement the IPsec at first I just want to make sure that we can get the tunnel up and working and have uh, these two networks talking to each other how how we want to implement it and just make sure before we get too deep in here that basic connectivity is achieved. So I'm going to exit out of this and I'm going to set up my uh, static route here so I'll do an IP route with the destination of 192.168.1.10 and I'll be issuing a subnet mask here not wildcard bits so we'll just, you can see here it's a 32-bit mask, and there's 32-bit mask. And I will be using the, uh, we forwarding out the tunnel interface. This is crucial. It shows we want to use that tunnel to get across here. So we'll issue that command. Now I want to bring up the office router and start the basic configuration on this side so for the interface fast ethernet 0, 0 we'll go ahead and assign that an IP address and do a no shut should see that come up in just a moment next I want to create the interface loopback 0 and assign that IP address as well. 192.168.1.10 32-bit subnet mask there. And you can see that line comes up right away. I don't have to issue a no shut on that. Go ahead and assign my enable secret password of Cisco uh, IP domain name Fuller CBT Labs dot com and a no IP domain lookup. I'll uh, initialize EIGRP on autonomous system 10 and advertise the 10.2.2.0 with the appropriate wildcard mask and we should see that adjacency come up. I'm going to back out here and do a show IP route Okay, we can see that I've learned routes here from EIGRP from the interwebs router for this 10.1.1.0 uh, network. 
And I should be able to ping the home router. 